Is technology calm? Can technology be calm? One of the pioneers of pervasive computing, a man named Mark Weiser, coined a term that he referred to as calm computing. Calm computing remains as much of an ideal for people who build pervasive computing systems as a reality. But the goals of calm computing are that as computing becomes more pervasive, it vanishes into the environment around us. It is no longer something that interrupts us. It's no longer something that we have to interact with on its terms. It becomes a part of the environment around us. And so you can imagine a world where we have the benefits of computing, access to information, the ability to communicate with each other, uh, all the different types of services and tools that we use computers for now but we live in a world that feels like it's pre-computing. We don't interact with the computer directly using a keyboard or a mouse. We don't have to look at a screen. We don't have to find out that we got an email because something buzzes in our pocket in the middle of an important conversation. So a world where we have all the benefits of today's mobile and pervasive technologies and all the benefits of the internet, and yet where the world feels like computers have vanished. Computers as the fundamental sort of um, uh, sort of complement to humans, but complementing us in a way that is calm and doesn't interfere with our lives. Clearly, today we are a long way from that vision. This device I have in my pocket, if I can get it out, my yoga pose, is probably one of the least calm devices on the planet. If I don't treat it carefully, it runs out of batteries, it buzzes and dings and irritates me all the time. I have to look down here to interact with it, at which point I lose track of other things that I'm doing. It causes people to crash cars and kill each other. Um, it delivers news that can be very agitating. And in general, this is not a calm device. So I think in many ways, the vision of calm computing is something that seems to be somewhat receding as we bring more computers into the world. But it is still, I think, a vision to pursue. It's a beautiful vision of the future of computing in which Computers are no longer an object. Computers are um, something that fills the space around us, provides us with new capabilities, allows us to do the things that we want to do in our human lives, and yet doesn't interfere or directly get in the way. Am I supposed to say something? <laughs> oh, yeah.